most extraordinary thing I've ever seen. He's not a sled dog, he's a lead dog. You should have seen him. He outran every single one of them. He's magnificent, a future champion. There's blood. You were right. It's in the heart of a survivor. I'm going to name him Togo. After the Admiral. An underdog. Named for an underdog. It's fitting. Bring him back to me, okay? And you come back to me. Good boy. It was foolish of me to think Togo would ever be denied. I always thought he lived for the sled. When all along, what he lived for was me. We resumed the trail. We discovered a walk was as good as a run. As always, Constance was right. Togo had the heart of a survivor. Not the storm of the century, nor a harrowing serum run could stop him. He lived out his golden years with a new job. Father. For two years, he sired pups. While the lower 48 celebrated Balto, mushers from all over the world elbowed to get one of Togo's line. Kennels from Fairbanks to Maine bred what came to be known as Sepala Siberians a breed valued for their intelligence, stamina, courage, but most of all, their good nature and uncommon bond with humans. Take us to Big Joe, I know you can. I know you can. Good dog, good dog. He left us on Thursday in December. Good dog. Good dogs all! Constance and I continued working with dogs because if you're around them long enough, they tend to get under your skin. And if you're lucky enough to have known a great one, they never really leave. They stay with you as long as you live, harnessed to your heart, giving their all.